everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Genix, and here in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how you can get rid of that 100% CPU and disk usage. If this video helps you out at all, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's show y'all how to do this. All right, the first thing that you're going to do is go down to search and type in device. And then select device manager. Here in device manager, scroll down until you find system devices and go ahead and click the arrow right next to it. Then you're going to scroll down and find high precision event timer. Go ahead and right click and disable the device. If you're prompted that disabling this device will do harm to your computer, don't worry. Click yes. Once you're done disabling high precision event timer, go ahead and close the device manager. Next, we're going to go down to search and type in power plan. And then select edit power plan. Once the edit plan settings is open, go ahead and choose change advanced power settings. Once the power options window opens, go ahead on this scroll down, select it, and then choose high performance. Once you have high performance selected, go ahead, click apply, and then click OK. And then go ahead and close out your edit plan settings. Next, go down into search and type in services and open up the services app. Once the services tab is open, go ahead and scroll down until you find remote desktop services. Once you've located it, right click, select properties. Once properties is open here on startup type, go ahead, select disabled, click stop, click apply, and then click OK. Next, you're going to be looking for sys main, S Y S main. Once you locate it, right click, Click Properties. Under Startup Type, go ahead and select Disabled, and then select Stop. Once it's stopped, go ahead and select Apply, and then click OK. Next, we're going to be scrolling down until you find Windows Search. Under Windows Search, go ahead and click it. Right click. Click Properties. Under Startup Type, go ahead, select Disabled. Select Stop. Once that stopped, go ahead, select apply and click OK. And the very last one is Windows Update. We're going to go ahead and select that, right click, select properties, and one more time, select startup type, disabled, select stop, and then click apply, and then click OK. Once you're done disabling those four services, you can go ahead and close the services tab. And the last thing that we're going to do, go ahead down into search and type in startup. And then select startup apps. Here on this window, it's going to show you every single application that starts up with your computer when you turn it on. If you see something that's not supposed to be here or something that you just don't want turning on with your computer when you turn it on, go ahead and turn it off. You're going to want to make sure you turn off auto updates and anything like that. If you ever run into a program that you're unsure if you're supposed to disable it or not, just go ahead and ask Google. It'll tell you if it's okay to turn it on or off. Once you're done turning off everything that you don't want turning on with your computer, go ahead and close the window and your computer is good to go. Well, that's it, everybody. It's as easy as that to get that CPU and disk usage down to normal. I appreciate you all checking out the video. If it helped at all, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you all next time. And remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.